Welcome to the channel again. Today you are watching my YouTube channel Bachelor and Master English. Uh, we are talking about Where the Rainbow Ends by Richard Rive. Uh, in today's discussion we shall be talking about uh, the quick glancing at the poem. There will be a recitation of the poem, summary, discussion in Nepali and finally there will be analysis and reader's point. I'm sure you'll accompany me till the end of this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you think uh, this video is worth watching, please don't forget to share among your friends and fellows. Okay, here we go uh, with the text first. Where the rainbow ends, they're gonna be a flesh brother. Where the world can sing all sorts of songs and we are gonna sing. We are gonna sing together, brother. You and I. Though you are white, black, and I am not, it's gonna be a sad song, oh, my brother, because we don't know the tune. And it's hard tune to learn. Oh, it's difficult tune to learn, but we can learn, brother, you and I. There is no such tune as a black tune, brother. There is no such tune as a white tune. There is only music, only music, brother. And it's music we are going to sing. Ah, where the rain bends, where the rain bends, where the rain bends. Yes, it's hard tune to learn. Oh, it's a difficult tune to learn, but we can learn it, brother. Where the rain bends. Okay, this is the poem, and here we have the quick glance at the poem. The title of the poem is Where the Rain Bends. Poet is African of Negro origin, uh, Richard Rive. Uh, the year of publication of this poem was 1972 and it was published in the country South Africa. Uh, the theme of the poem is universal brotherhood and racial harmony, friendship. The genre is poetry and sub-genre here discrimination and unity than optimism. Uh, literary devices used in the poem symbol, the rainbow itself is the symbol and apostrophe the uh, poet is addressing uh, a person called brother, he may be a white person, and anaphora where the rainbow ends, where the rainbow ends, uh, it's a repetition of certain phrases and uh, certain pattern here, uh, like where the rainbow ends, that is anaphora, and imagery uh, the, the poet has used a rays of images in the poem, and these rays of images are related to brotherhood. Uh, the fraternity and the unity and uh, refrain there we have uh, it's a music uh, it's a song and we have a lot of refrain and repetition in the poem the poet creates a musicality and uh, this music is very important part and uh, it's it's a beautiful song uh, of universal brotherhood appealing for fraternity and friendship uh, the tone is upbeating and reverential and the mood is uh, friendly and happy. That's a quick glance at the poem, okay? Now, here we go uh, with the summary of the poem in English. Where the rainbow ends uh, about, is about friendship and racial harmony. Uh, the poet makes it clear that it is possible to be friends whether we are black or white, no matter which race we belong to. He does not say that this will be an easy process as people are uh, different. Rainbow signifies or symbolizes different colors in a band beheld on the horizon. This is in you know, semi-arc, uh, it's a semi-circle here. Uh, he is trying to say that different colored people can find happiness together. The poet means to say, uh, this poem is about the importance of equality and fraternity. However, we can see the world has made a huge differences on the basis of caste, creed, color, etc. since uh, time immemorial. Uh, the poet wants to search a place where such differentiation is not made. It encourages all the mankind not to abate, instead try to be uh, a non-racist. Okay. Uh, this is the summary of the poem in English. Now, let's discuss the poem in Nepali. Uh, Richard Rive ko kavita jaha indrini 
अथवा इंद्रधनुष होलब यो ऐन को सकि भैन कि अलब होता में मैं यहाँ अनुवाद कर जहाँ इंद्रिणी होलब तैं एवटा ठा होने भाई जहाँ संसार ने सब थरी गीत गाँच अमी संगे गीत गाउन गई रहे भाई तिमी रद्यपि अथवा तिमी सेतो छो रही यो दुख अंत होने भाई क्योंकि हमीर धुन को ज्ञान छेन यो दुख को गीत होने भाई क्योंकि हमीर धुन को ज्ञान छेन अो सीक्न का कठिन धुन हो तर हम यो गीत सीक्न सकने भाई तिमी रपसी को संगीत भाई तस्त संगीत तो छेन गोरा को संगीत भाई तस्त कु संगीत तो छेन केवल संगीत केवल संगीत छाँ भाई रो संगीत हमी सीक्न गई रह जहाँ इंद्रिणी होलब जहाँ इंद्रिणी होलब जहाँ इंद्रिणी होलब हो सीक्न का लगी कठिन धुन हो यो तर हम सीक्न सकता भाई जहाँ इंद्रिणी होलब दक्षिण अफ्रीका का हफ्सी कवि रिचर्ड राइव को यो कविता जहाँ इंद्रिणी होलब को मित्रता रातीय मेलमिलापसंग संबंधित भाईचारा संग संबंधित एटा उत्कृष्ट रचना हो कविता हो गीत हो यहाँ कवि हमी गोरा वा काला हो मित्रता गाँसन अवरोध होने होना भाई भावना व्यक्त कर हमी जो रंग का भेपनी हमी साथी बन सौ क्योंकि साथी को कुछ रंग होते साथी में कुछ जात होते साथी में कुछ तस्त राजनीति अथवा कुछ सोच होते तर ते साथी में मित्रता हो तर यो सहज होने छेन क्योंकि मानस फरक अर्थात एवट भावना बोक सब को दृष्टिकोण फरक विचार फरक अता में भैया फरक फरक रंग इंद्रेणी अर्थ दवि भरक फरक रंग भैया संसार का मानस खुशी प्राप्त कर सकता यह कविता सामनता राइचारा को महत्व को बारे में रचि फुटकर कविता हो गीत हो समय को अंतराल में हमी संसार का जात जाति धर्म रंग आदि को आधार में भेद अथवा बेग फरक फरक होना पुग्य तो फरक फरक होता खेल हमी एक अर्ला करने व्यवहार भी फरक होना पुग्यो तेजे असार में अविधीकरण भैर हमी यो विविधीकरण रोक्न खोजि कवि यो विविधीकरण रोक्ने ठा जहाँ इंद्रिणी अथवा इंद्रधनुष अलग होने उनके परिकल्पना कर यो बिंबात्मक यो तस्त ठाव नहीं छेन जहाँ इंद्रधनुष अंत्य हो रधनुष तो एटा चाह अमूर्त अमूर्त चीज हो जो हेखे मात्र देखना सकता तर ते छाप्न तेसला भौतिक अवस्था पत्ता लगन हमें चाहे सकते हैं ते बार एटा एक खाल अमूर्त चीज में कवि यो काव्य रचना कर जहाँ इंद्रधनुष को अंत्य हो जहाँ इंद्रधनुष अलग होने तिमी र मित्रता को गीत गाने ठाव भिहाँ सब जाति जातीय भेदभाव भेद यहां कुछ रही ते पच्चीस ये भाईचारा विरुद्ध का काम तैं होना पाने छन ती कु जहाँ जहाँ सब मानसें मिले तिमी रो रोरो दाजू भाई मिले संगे गीत गाने सकने हो तिम्रो कालो काला को गीत भर बेगले गीत छेन गोरा को भर बेगले गीत छेन तर गीत तो छो तो गीत तिमी राने तर यो गीत सीक्न गाड़ो कहो तिमी तिमी मेरे कुरा मन तैयार छन रिम्रो कुरा मन तैयार छेन हमी आपना आपना ये जकड़ मानसिकता जकड़ ये जीर्ण भैया अथवा ती एटा हम प्रगति बाधक बनाने तत्व हम दिमाग में बोक तेई दृष्टिकोण ने हमी एक अर्ला हरि रख हम ते एक अर्ला व्यवहार कर कारण हमी जबसम तिमी री हमारा मन में जकड़ ये चाह नरा जाति भेद रंग भेद अने सब भाईचारा विरुद्ध का भाईचारा विरुद्ध का अब कुछ जाति रंग भेद तो हम मन पाऊद पाऊदेन अभी भाईचारा को हम अंत्य चाहतेन हम तर हम जो अवस्था में हम पाऊदेन ते बेला हमें रिस उठ अ के बन यो कविता सामनातर भाईचारा को महत्व को बारे में रचि जहाँ है कवि ने यो ठाव को खोजी कर जहाँ के विभेद होन्न तो 
इंद्रेणी अंत्य होने ठाव हो इंद्र धनुष अलग होने ठाव हो इसलिए मानव समग्र मानव जगत ला जाति बाद इरा उत्तीजित नवाई कना संसार बड़ा जाति वेत त्याग दे जाति बाद विरोधी होना रा उड़ा भाईचारा में साथित्व में कुनी पनी जात रंग इस तो सोच कुनी विवेद होने ना बन्नी करा सोच ना को लाई जाए आवान करेगा सं जाति बाद विरोधी होना आवान करेगा सं कभी लाई जहाँ इंद्रिणी अलग होन्चा ते ही मित्रता विश्व व्यापी रा भाईचारा बढ़ाऊं दे जाति बीत को अंत्य होने सपना देखेगा सं तारा इंद्रिणी वो कहाँ अलग होन्चा कोई स्वयं कभी लाई नहीं था सेना हो दैट्स द प्लेस वेर द रैन बे एंड the poet himself does not know, but he he is very much optimistic. He is very much a positive towards that, and he is quite hopeful that the the day will come when white and black will have that good harmony. They will have good relationship. They will have good friendship, and they will treat each other on the basis of humanity. And there will be no discrimination on the case of uh, on the basis of caste, color, creed, you know, other things. But to, they will behave uh, in that way uh, that these all are human beings, and uh, they all breathe, they all feel hungry, and if uh, they have certain injury, the the red blood comes from them, and the the blood the does not discriminate white and black. Even from black person, there there come there oozes out the red blood. Even from white person, there oozes out that red blood. And if the blood is red, if all people breathe, if all people feel hungry, and where is the person of different color? Where's the person of different religion, different creed, different belief? All these are these deep rooted. Useless old traditions that we have, and these useless old traditions, these these are against humanity. These are against fraternity. These are against uh, racial harmony, religious tolerance. They are against that. So the poet is quite pleading for that scenario, that situation where everything goes well, where the rainbow ends. There will be the place to. Find the day of sunshine where all will live together. All will uh, find happiness together. Okay, that's all with uh, the discussion of the poem in Nepali. Now let's go with the analysis. Uh, this poem is about importance of equality and brotherhood. Since the time has passed, we can see the world has made a huge difference on the basis of caste, creed, color, etc. The poet wants to search a place. Where such differentiation is not made, it encourages all the mankind not to be racist and a bit people to be non-racist, abandoning the racism uh, from the whole world. The rainbow symbolizes uh, for me is the state of equality between black and white, where there is peace, happiness, unison, and no more discrimination of race. The rainbow means racial harmony, people of different races. The poem is about a black person who wants discrimination to end. He knows it's not going to end because no one will ever know where the rainbow is. It's a metaphor from a pot of gold being a prize. This is a beautiful poem, and this beautiful poem is about brotherhood, friendship, and racial harmony. The poet makes the point that no matter how different people are, it is possible to be friends. Different, he says, it is possible to have harmony if people try hard. Also, the title of the poem is significant as folklore has it that there is a pot of gold to be found where the rainbow ends. Rainbow signifies different colors in a band. And that the poet is trying to say that different colored people can find happiness together. Richard Rives, where the rainbow ends, is a song to unite all races. It's the sad reality of segregation in the world, and how it can be removed. The mood in both poems totally, at uh, this poem here, is totally different. 
the mood uh, is friendly and happy. This is shown when the poem reads, uh, but we can learn, brother. You and I, this is politely spoken in standard English and is well mannered. This is very cheery and sense a positive feeling uh, in the reader's mind. Where the rainbow ends is about the unity uh, of all races and equality. The speaker would like everyone to be one and sing together regardless of the rest. We are going to sing together, brother, you and I. This shows the speaker wants everyone in the world to sing the same song. Yeah, this is not a literal meaning, but you see, it means the speaker would like everyone and everything in the world be the same. The poem by Richard Rive is written, is written in a more complex way and also uh, he is speaking freely. A long time ago, black people weren't allowed to speak freely. The message where the rainbow ends is actually a wish, a hope, a dream. Richard Rive is saying there is a place where people of all races are equal, but it's where the rainbow ends. A rainbow is circular and actually never ends. So there is no place where people of all colors are united. Where the rainbow ends, there is going to be a place, brother, where the world can sing all sorts of songs. This is a plea for unity, but is unlikely to happen. Okay, that's overall analysis. Now let's go to reader's point. What the reader sees uh, while uh, going through the poem. So, uh, as a reader, I see it through the poem, I see it as the poem written during apartheid. It talks about the unity that black and whites planned on having the rainbow nation. The poet uses music to refer how the two races are going to try to live together in harmony. The poet is a black guy. He belongs to Negro race. Rainbow refers like discrimination between the black and white. He wishes for this discrimination to end. Here he is talking to the white person. He wants unity, but he said, it's going to be hard to bring it. I think the poem has a very great inclination towards the end of the apartheid regime and music acting as a symbol of unit in a rainbow nation. Okay, uh, it's all over with the discussion of where the rainbow ends by Richard Ripe. I'm sure you got the points. If you have any queries, you can put your ideas in my comment box. And before I say goodbye, thank you for your time and patience. 